Georgia ag producers who haul their commodities to market and have some changes coming. That's right. The Monitor's Mark Wildman tells us about new regulations that farmers will need to follow in order to keep their commercial driver's license exemptions. Farmers are accustomed to being exempt from having to have a CDL or commercial driver's license. As long as they're hauling their agricultural products to or from, to or from a market or other agricultural uh, inputs that they're using on their farm, they're exempt from CDL regulation. With the passage of federal legislation entitled The Moving Ahead for Progress in the 21st Century, or MAP 21, farmers and farm helpers who have traditionally been exempt from having a CDL while operating within 150 miles from the farm now have their limits broadened. The, the federal regulation that passed last summer uh, broadened that exemption to cover the entire state and 150 miles into a neighboring state uh, or 150 miles from that farmer's farm uh, into another state. And that's a, that's a very positive thing for us. Usually the exemption is automatic and requires no action on the producer's part. But now that has changed. The difference is that farmers now have to apply for that exemption. In years past, the exemption was automatic. Now they're going to have to go online and apply for it. And that's what we want farmers to know about. Well, if you have any questions, you can call us here at the Georgia Farm Bureau Legislative Department or, and to register. You can go to www.gfb.org, that's gfb.org, and there is a button there on that site that says CDL exemption changes on the front page. You click on that button and it will give you some information and it will also give you links how you can go to the Georgia Department of Public Safety website and register your vehicle. This is good news for producers who haul their commodities over state lines to market. The Georgia Department of Public Safety has been very helpful uh, with Georgia Farm Bureau in this process and just we really appreciate all the work they've done to make this uh, as, as easy as it can be because this, this process where you go online and get the exemption, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything and it's easy to do. It takes, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like we have a good open line of communications. Uh, we, we talk about the issues and try to find the best way to resolve and to make it feasible for everyone to understand and be able to comply with it. It may be some extra effort on producers' part, but in the end, it will ensure agriculture keeps a very valuable benefit. You know, there's a lot of farm trucks on the road. They're seasonal, they're, they're there. Uh, but yes, we have a lot of farm trucks and, and uh, we'd encourage all farmers, if, if they have trucks and vehicles that fall in these categories, they, they need to uh, register for the exemption to continue. In Macon, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.